Hello? You made it! What? Congratulations! Ready for the picnic? Ready? Yes. I'll call you in 20 minutes. Let's be done yet. Hello? Hi. Looks like you got a problem. Yeah, uh, thanks for stopping. I... Car going up the mountain, it got hot. Tioga Pass will do that. <coughs> I'm sorry. It's a nasty habit. I should be quitting anyway. You got any water? No. I've got some. Start your engine? Why? Don't want to crack your engine block.
Hello. Hey, nice car. Mercedes? Yeah. What year, 57? Who are you? That doesn't concern you. Helen, cut the engine. Get his keys. This is gonna have to be quick, we don't have time. Car is yours. Just leave my sandwich. How <laughs> the fucking bird could have your sandwich? No, Benny, come on. Get out of here. Get up. Benny, you give get it away. Get up. Benny, jeez, Benny! <laughs> Holy. Oh, no, you don't. Get off! Come on. Get off! Let go of my going fucking down to look arm! At your friend. Get off! Let go! He's dead. You're facing a murder charge. What do you mean? I didn't kill him. You did, asshole. You're the one that murdered him. You guys him. are trying to rob me. A felony. Your friend got killed during the commission of that felony. The felony murder rule says you're guilty of murder. Get back up to the hill. We're going down the mountain. What are you, some sheriff. kind of asshole cop? I'm a lawyer. Asshole lawyer. Get up the mountain. You're going to pay a visit to the sheriff. Should have known by your wild hair. It's a bad dream. Uh, what a nightmare. I'm not going back to jail. Been there before? Lawyer, huh? I bet you do criminal law. Prostitutes, pimps. Seen a few of those? Terry? I mean, Benny back there, he, 
He wasn't the first dead guy you've seen. He wasn't the first man to die by these hands. And they're soft though, too. Knock it off. I knew you were a nice guy when you stopped to help me. Yeah. You are wild. See how wild. She was with him from Reno. Said he was acting kind of strange the past several hours. I guess the breakdown of his car put him close to the edge. When I showed up, he went over. Sorry about your friend, ma'am. I understand you're a bit distraught about the whole thing. Yes. Tried to hijack this car from Mr. Anon Bart here. Yes, he did. And you had no idea he was going to try and steal the car. No. I met Benny a couple days ago in Reno, and I... He offered to take me to San Diego, so I said yes. We overheated going up the hill, and Anon... Anon here stopped to help us. Benny pulled a gun, and they fought, and Benny went down the hill. I guess he hit his head, his head on a rock. We went down to look at him, and he was dead. You've got my business card. I do, Counselor. I do. Oh, here, you need this back? Can't drive in California without a valid license. Thanks. You're welcome. Most people that die at Tioga Pass get eaten by a bear. You in the Marines? Was. Father was in the Marines. Iwo Jima got himself a silver star. Who are you with? Forrest Recon. That freak never had a chance. The rangers found the body where you said it was. If I need any more information from you, I'll contact you. Thanks. Nothing like a blowjob to change a man's mind. You didn't know the plan was going to try and kill me. You tried to stop him. Got in the way of his shot. Probably saved my life. Then why'd you take me to the sheriff? Tell him the facts. Let him decide what to do with you. And did you tell them that I went down on you? No. I didn't tell him you were an accomplice to steal my car, either. You're an asshole. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was your true love. Listen. If I have to go down on some limp dick lawyer to save my ass, I'll do it. Every time. Well, judging by your skill, I could have sworn I was your first. <laughs> you all right? Anon. Old English. Where are we going? San Diego. Good, that's where I'm from. Oh. Huh? 
Where's your old wife live? San Francisco. What are you doing up here? Vacation from the rat race. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go to sleep. Don't get your hopes up. Yeah, whatever. in a dream. Morning. Where are we? About an hour from San Diego. Desert, huh? You don't like me very much, do you? I don't know you well enough to like you or dislike you. Look at the Choya. Can we stop and look at him? Look at the bird's nest. They all left, though, mother and children. These are my kids. This is Jenny. And this is Robert. This one here, it, it's her birthday today. Cute kids. Same father? No. I was wild in my youth. Youth? What are you? All of 22? 25. Still pretty young to be having kids that age. I like sex. Yes, ma'am. I know that. Yeah, well, my stepfather introduced me to it at an early age. Well, what about you? I mean... You know about me, I want to know about you. The picture of you and your wife, you guys look pretty happy. Cute kids, you look like the all-American family. I do have some beautiful kids. You'll have to ask her. It was her choice. You still love her? Why are we talking about this? Huh? You're not my marriage counselor. You've got two kids from two different fathers. I doubt if you've ever been married. So why are we talking about this? I'm a psych major. Oh. whoop de fucking do Every psych major is crazy. They only want to get a college degree and figure themselves out at the same time. You know, time. you asked me about my life, so I asked you about yours, your life? okay? You're getting pretty old for your life. I'm leaving. If you want to ride. This is where I stay. Dickens. What's that? Oh, nothing. 
nothing than Pickwick Papers. You are in college, aren't you? I said I was. See, I'm, uh... Apologize for what I said about your life. Don't worry about it. It's like water off a duck's back. What are all these banners doing around here? Uh, Republican conventions in town. Oh, shit. Just my luck. Well, I want to use the phone to see about my here. kids. Use this. Thanks. meeting you. You too. Hey, baby. I knew you'd come back to me. Why did you pop the trunk? Welcome back. Hi, Wayne. I knew you in town. I can smell you. What are you talking about? It's in the air, baby. Look red roses. <laughs> I knew you couldn't stay away from me. Besides, I figured you'd be here for the convention. I didn't know asshole was gonna be in town. Oh, come on, baby. Come on now. I don't know why you don't like him. He's always been nice to us. He asks about you. How's my little girl? She's so precious. Look me, she'll be happy to see you. You want a cigarette? No, I'm trying to quit. Oh. You're so big, look at you. I missed you so much. Everything's the same in the house. I missed you. Let me check the TV. I think uh, Richard should be giving a speech now. I want to show you something down at the beach. Okay, let me take a quick shower and change first, all right?
this next century must ensure the greatness of America and the quality of life and rebuild so that we have the strength that America's always been noted for in years past. The military has taken a bad downturn over the last four years. As a matter of fact, we're sending troops into areas to help other countries where they're giving us no support and bombing us, terrorist attacks and everything else. Sometimes so we miss you so much. More money into the military to help our men I come to your TV room and I watch TV country. until I fall asleep. And furthermore, when they get overseas, we've got to give them support or make agreements with the countries where we're helping those countries that they will not pick on us and hurt us and shoot us when we're there to help them get their act together and get straight up. The Military Appropriations Committee is going to look into all of this in the next coming years and we're going to give more. Well, they switch with it on TV all the time for that damn convention. Where did you go this time? Tahoe, the Sierras. I like the mountain air. You should have called me. I would have joined you. You know, I love the mountains. Did you meet any interesting people? Nope. Anything exciting no. happen? Mama, let's go to the beach. Let me put my things away. Okay, sounds nice. I'm gonna go to the barber to get dinner for the party and I'll meet you at the beach. It's Peter. Yes, Peter. She in town? Right, right. She's right in front of me as we speak. Why don't you come for dinner? You know, early dinner visit with us. I understand you have room at the club. Yes, we are staying at the club, but I do have some meetings I have to go to tonight. We have a small party planned for Jenny. It's her birthday, you know? Maybe we can do it after sunset. I said early, 6 o'clock, beach barbecue at the club, all right? Listen, listen, listen to me. I'll have the clerk leave a reminder in your room. All right? Representative from San Francisco. I'll be there. Goodbye. Bob, you'll have to cancel at 7 o'clock. Oh, man, that's just the whole schedule up. What are you doing here? Hi there. Convention? Constituent. You practice law in the city. And in Bart, 10 years practice there. I'm in San Diego now. This is my wife, Sophie. Go, elephants. He went to the city to live in the sun of Bath. I've got to go to a meeting. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Right, nice Chickens get cold. Listen, I told my lawyer that we can work this out ourselves. I think we're reasonable people. Sophie, I really miss the kids. That's fine. Telephone. Listen, let's not bother with a small talk, pitter patter. You know, the the question is, who are they going to live with during the school year, right? Yeah. Well, I've decided that the first year they should live, they should live with me. They can visit with you over, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter. And of course, if you have any legal cases in the Bay Area, you can visit with them. 
for the, the summer vacation. You know, I think they should decide if they want to come to stay with you in San Diego. Assuming you have a house by then. Sounds logical to me. I'm leaving the last day of the convention. It's in two days. The marriage settlement agreement should be ready to sign by then, right? I'll look it over. Listen, I'll buy lunch on the Sunday. All right? Jenny. Richard is coming for dinner today. How's corruption in Washington these days? I didn't ask him that. You like that? Thank you. Uh-oh. Ooga. Oops. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> have a beautiful child. How old are you? Old enough. I'll find out what her problem is. I... I sense that you're keeping your distance from us. Or, 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 or maybe it's me. What happened between us was many years ago. I was wrong. I made a mistake. But you have to forgive and forget and go on with your life. It happened more than once. I, I was sick. Something was wrong with inside of me. I, I couldn't control myself. I was sick, and now I'm healed? You denied it never happened would have destroyed me. <laughs> so it destroyed me instead, huh? But I'm willing to pay for your help and therapy. Any, anything you need. But you've got to go on with your life. Don't touch me. <laughs> Do you see what I've become? I don't see it but once in a blue moon, all right? But you have to go on with your life. 
I am a cliche. I am what is called a dysfunctional person from a dysfunctional family. I'm 25 years old and I don't even have a place to live. <sighs> I have a kid and I don't even have a husband. I have no money except for a trust fund that I inherited from my real father. Helen, your glass. <laughs> Pollution, huh? Responsibility for my acts. Uh, I'm a gypsy. I don't have anything to come home to or, or to tie me down. Except for my kids. A uh, kid. And according to the courts, I'm not capable of taking care of her. God, I'm so fucking scattered. I can help you like I help Peter. I don't want your fucking money. I didn't want it then, and I don't want it now. I was a little girl. I needed love from my mother and from you. And all you gave me was sex. And I thought that was love. What's the matter with Helen? She never told you? What? Huh. You know what I mean. Family matters. I know. She gets that way with me sometimes. Come on, Richard. Let's go. But I know what she likes. I wonder who her teacher was. Sweet dreams. I enjoyed your company this afternoon. I had fun. Even Richard was okay in small doses. <laughs> Richard. Hey, what did you say to him? Nothing of importance. Are you taking money from him? Me? Oh, no, no. 
Look, he's helping with the government contract, you know, import, export, you know, he makes money on that. Mm, I'm gonna go to bed. Good. I'll join you. Uh, I don't think so. Why not? I just don't feel like it. Can make you feel like it. Good. That was very good. Listen, I, uh, I'm sorry. Okay, baby, just relax, just relax. Huh? Okay? We'll be there before, okay? Just relax. Okay, baby, just relax. We've been there before, alright? Just relax and I'll take you away from this place, okay?
Thanks. Anon. Hey, Helen. Pleasant surprise. I was hoping you were here. Got you all right? I have to talk to you. Come on upstairs. Hold this. Give me your bag. Sit on the bed over there. When I was 16, I was on top of the world. I had this boyfriend. He was a man, he was 23. He took me everywhere. We did everything together. He took me to Europe. We went to Paris and London and Germany and we went on a hunting trip in South Africa. Buying meetings, this watch. It makes me feel trapped. Anyway, I got in this car accident. He was drunk. And I was in a body cast for like three months. And I had to sit there and talk to him for like ever. And I didn't really love him. It was the doing things that I loved. So I got pregnant. And he thought it would keep me to him, but it didn't. He took the kid. The court thought I was unfit. Sometimes I go back to see my kid. He doesn't like it when I leave. You stay here for the day. I'll uh, call you in the late afternoon. I guess I wasn't meant to live happily ever after. You've got a long life to live. Go to sleep. I have to go to work for the day. Relax, I'll get hold of you later. Thank you. 
wire, huh? May I help you? I hope so. Is this uh, a lawyer's office? Yes. I'm looking for Robert Loftus. Yes, do you have an appointment? It's unexpected. Yes. It's about his son. Do you know Junior? Actually, no, I, I know his mother. Hello, I'm Robert Loftus. You know Helen? Yeah, I just met her yesterday. How's she doing? She got beat up last night. What happened? Is she all right? Maybe you can tell me. Well, what do you mean? I mean she was with the father of her child, and he beat her up. I think you did it. Well, you know, she has two children here in San Diego by two different dads, and one is white. So naturally, you would assume that I was the one that did it. Yeah. Damn. Sorry. Guess I did. This other guy, the other man. Peter Stravinsky. He lives on the beach in La Jolla. I'm sorry. I, uh, I just moved down from San Francisco. I'll see you around the courthouse. I'm glad to meet you. What are you trying to pull off? What? What are you trying to pull off? Is, is he talking to me? What are you talking about? He's talking about the bitch. Oh, I don't dare you call me a bitch! Be careful, gun! Calling the police. You don't need to be here. Good. Well, listen, thanks. Police? Yeah. I'm on the corner of Pearl and Fay. I've got an asshole in the bushes we might want to pick up. What happened to the girl? <laughs> the light turned green and uh, she walked across the street. I'm glad you took Whitey down. He's always smirking at people and enjoying their misery. Robert say about Junior? He seemed like a nice guy. Uh, what happened with him? We lived together for like a year and a half in LA. And he wanted to marry me. And, but there's more to life than a Moby Dick. <laughs> Not much more, but there is. That was a joke. Oh, no, no. Ha ha. What, what do you do? Do you have a kid with every one you, every man you've ever lived with? No. But sometimes babies decide to show up when you don't plan. And then you love them all the more. Don't you want to raise your own kids? Of course I do. 
I mean, I talked to Junior today on the phone. I'm going to spend the weekend with him. But he stays with his father. Why are you running around with people like Vinny? Pophead's going nowhere. He was just a ride from Reno. And now he's dead. People die sooner or later. He was sooner. What are you going to do now? We'll see. This other man. Peter. He's beaten you before, hasn't he? Yes. Do you have any money? My father left me a small trust when he died. Is he the one that abused you? You're my lawyer, right? Everything you say is client attorney privilege. I tell nobody about it. No. It was the Honorable Richard Gallagher. The congressman? Insane. <laughs> so he's your stepdad. Lucky you. And your real dad's inheritance supports your transitory life? I mean, is that what you want to do with the rest of your life? Travel around, take a few courses at college, visit your kids? Get beat up on occasion. American dream. Don't you ever want custody of your kids? Of course I do. The courts look at a parent to see how stable she is. If you want custody of your kids, you've got to have a place of your own. A man that doesn't beat you. Not many men want a woman with a ready-made family. And the one I wanted, he left. Karma. Can you help me? I don't do domestic law. Thanks for listening to me. Where are you going? I'm going to go back to the hotel. Wait a minute. Stop. Where are you going to stay? I'll find a place. Listen, listen. Look, you'll send me trip. My mistake with Robert, the whitey thing, my children. Listen, I'm, I'm tired. I mean, couldn't we talk about this in the morning? Look, let's go back to my place, okay? I promise you, I'm way too tired for anything to happen. Okay? Okay. I'm gonna go to sleep. Call you in the late afternoon. On the beach. Yeah. I'll get a hold of you later. Thanks. Hey, <laughs> there goes a surf town. Think Dole will have any pineapples at his party? Or pina coladas? Where's Wadey? He ought to be here for the festivities. He had a problem with the lawyer this morning. You're a lawyer, right? Yeah. You know, his whole town is crawling with lawyers for his goddamn convention. I'll be happy when it's over, they all go home, leave San Diego to the locals. Peter's like a loco. <laughs> you know what? I feel like a loco. You know why? Because I love America. I love everything about America. Peter's <laughs> as American as you everything. can get. Everything. I love this car. I just got one like this. Born in Bulgaria. <laughs> I love American women. Beautiful. Sired by a Russian <laughs> prince. You know a lawyer named Anna Bart? Oh yeah, he's got his hair combed back. Who? The other day at the state courthouse. The guy that kept yelling, Congressman. What? Well, I didn't know what to think, Congressman. He was calling you out. Are you worried? Can you check him out for me? <laughs> Peter, we'll get on that tomorrow. Congressman's got to get on Chrissy tonight. Just a joke. <laughs> like those young girls. Found of you. Young girls keep that old man's blood flowing. <laughs> what are you two up to? <laughs> <laughs>
How you doing? Do you mind if I sit here? Go ahead. What a gorgeous day today, huh? <laughs> a lot of paperwork, huh? Listen, you're a lawyer, right? Yeah. Listen, man, I need a legal advice and I'll pay for that. Is that okay? That's fine. See, I, uh, I got this woman, man. She's beautiful. She's beautiful, beautiful. You know, I love her taste. I love her smell. I, I love everything about her. Every time I see her, I get hurt, you know? You understand me. So, from the first time I saw her when she was 16, I knew I had to be inside of her, man. I knew it, I knew it. She called me Peter Rabbit, you know why? Because I fuck like a rabbit, you know? <laughs> oh, by the way, my name is Peter. Hi. So like a rabbit all the time. Hey, you know Wiley, right? Now you tell me, why would I force this woman to be with me? So you're the woman beater. <laughs> I knew she had a couple of men, but only my seed was strong enough to bear fruit with her. Now she needs me, man. Only I can satisfy her needs, you understand? Well, how come she's got a child from a black man? What? A negra? You're lying. Oh, you're right. My mistake. I have trouble with foreign accents. I thought you were somebody else. What country are you from? Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Now you tell me about this child, this bastard child. Well, there's nothing to tell. Nothing to tell. You know what? You lie like a lawyer. Let me pick up your tough for this legal consultation. You know where my girl is, right? I hope she comes home soon, don't you? Who's the boy? Have a nice day. Thank you very much. No, thanks a lot. Hey. Hey. Get your work done? Uh, pretty much. Well, you look pretty today. Thank you. Not so bad yourself. So what are you doing here? Just watching the surfers? Mm-hmm. I ran into Peter today. What? You never told him about Robert? And your son? I would never tell him that. Well, I made a mistake. I told him. Why'd you do that? I didn't know. Well, I mean, you would have found out sooner or later. Now's as good a time as any. I'm sorry. You didn't know. Do you still love your wife? I don't know. My feelings are mixed. 
I sure love my children. You're like me, you want custody of them. As soon as I make some money, a little place, a nice quiet neighborhood, bring them to San Diego. And a dog, and a cat, and the milkman. I believe there are myriad souls out there in the universe. And they're all just waiting for a body to accept them so they can do good. Anyway, enough of that. I brought you here so you can play with me on the beach. Come on! Look at you. Sometimes fiery, sometimes sad. It's all in your face. I don't do domestic law. Right. Talking to yourself over there? Just the rantings of an insane man. from the Choya are living in the city now. They're out for the evening, but they'll be back. Yeah, they'll be back all right. Baby, I'm a survivor. I was born in New York City the day the stock market plunged, October 1929. I came out and my father went down, 35 stories to his death, plunging like the family fortune. I've heard this story before, and I still like it. My mother raised me and my sisters. Again, the vanguard of the American way of life. A home without a father figure. But I survived. <laughs> what? Hello? Yes? Oh, okay, thank you. There's a message for me. I'll be right back, honey. Give me up a vodka and a club soda at the bar, would you please? Practice your speech, Congressman.
You know what it takes to make it in this world? You got to be like the sperm. Only one of them really makes it to the end. But the strong ones don't give up. They realize that it's Katie bar the door, and only one of them will survive into this lifetime. But by God, they swim their hearts out. And during that short lifetime of freedom from the testaments, swimming inside that beautiful pussy, they live a thousand lifetimes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was great. Is this your speech for the convention? And that, my friend, even for a brief moment in time, is worth a thousand of your mundane lifetimes. That sounds like my life, not yours. I was young once. What did you find out about the lawyer? Oh. He went into the Marine Corps when he was 17. Then he had some classified information that I could not have access to. However, he did get medals, so that means he killed some of the enemy. So I would use a lot of restraint with him. I was thinking you didn't uh, show any restraint with my girl. You understand me? Who? Don't play stupid. Is that what she told you? I was, um, I was thinking, uh, maybe, I was thinking maybe uh, you're responsible for the problems in her mind. Why she leaves me and then comes back again and leaves me with people like this lawyer? Wait a minute. I'll pay for her therapy. Anything. I'm here to help. I'll pay. Sure, sure, you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay right now with your life. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh! Oh! Where are you going? Work? 
Is that the paper? I think I'll look for a job today. All right. Take my cellular. I'll call you later, see how you're doing. Thanks. Nice hat. Special occasion. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. See you soon, baboon. I keep this copy. Right? That's your copy. Let's go. That's done. Is that him? That's him. Another day, another beating. I guess we can stay good friends, huh? to whip this ass. Peter. Hey baby, is that you? Where's Jenny? She's right here with me. Are you in your car? Yeah. Can you meet me at a cave and prospect in La Jolla? Yeah, right. Count you lucky stars. Where's Jenny? Just dropped off the club. Let's go down and see her, huh? Where's Jenny? I knew you couldn't stay away from me. You know, some things are preordained in this life. Listen, I... I made a mistake. Just tell Jenny that I'll talk to her later. What's that ringing? What the hell is that ringing? Whose phone well, is that? How's the job search? I don't know. 
thought you went looking this morning. I was. And I saw you. Really? Did you see my... Yes. You should have come over and said hello. But it's too late now. She's back in San Francisco. Yeah, that's right. She's gone, huh? Sign the final papers today, but we're still friends. Who's phone wait, is that? wait, wait a minute. Listen, I... Listen, I gotta go. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Come here. Come here. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up! Hey, this is Peter. Who am I talking to? your lawyer. Oh, my lawyer, my lawyer! Listen, you meddler, you bet the flows on my girl, you understand that? She's running in my car, she came back to me, remember? Exactly the way I told you! Take this. Take care of yourself. All right. Are you still there? Are you still there? Yes. Good. There is a pay phone at Kelso train station, 100 miles northeast of the city. Wait for my phone call. Any police? Helen is dead. I'll see you there. What's that man? Uh, what, what's that man? You the book reader. You know what you English men say? Kill all the lords. Oh yeah, he's right. He's goddamn right. Kill all the fucking lords. Oh, uh, 
excuse my manners. Would you like some, some chicken, some beer, wine perhaps? No? Not hungry? Look at you, all sweaty, tired. How about you, Helen? You want some? No? All right. I'm gonna pull my gun out. Watch this. Very good. Good reflex. Now, we're gonna play a little game. It's very simple. I'm gonna empty my barrel and I'm gonna leave only, guess what, only one bullet inside. <laughs> Very good, okay? It's very simple. Now, the name of the game is Would You Die For Love? <laughs> you die for love? <laughs> <laughs> I would. How about Helen? Would you die for love? <laughs> you don't want a chance to die for love? Huh? Good looking guy like you has all the women he wants, so why would you want to die for this, huh? Eh? So let's say you made a little mistake. Little mistake. Nobody's perfect. So you can go and leave. And leave in my girl. She's not your girl. She's not yours. <gasps> I'm not anybody's. Shut up, bitch! You sure uh, quiet for a lawyer. <gasps> Why were you riding with this clown? I saw you with your wife! Shut up! Go back to your stupid courthouse! And talk your legal bullshit to those corrupt judges and buy everybody off with your money and lies, you son of a bitch! And take your phone so you can talk to your stupid friends. Cause all you lawyers do is talk about things while people like me do things! What the hell are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Helen. You can't play this game. Do you love me? Crazy. Stay back. I believe it's your turn. Stay back. It's your turn. Fake. Ah. God damn you, son of a bitch! I'm Anon, fucking it's okay, oh, Anon. It's okay. Anon, it's okay, Anon. It's okay. Let's go. Damn it! Let's go. Come on. Let's go.
Lucky this old train has running water. Why so quiet? Rather dilapidated toilet. But it served its purpose. So, you would die for love? I guess so. I don't know. So you're willing to die for love, but when it's offered to you, you won't accept it. tracks, bloody arm and all. Go to the depot in your car. And leave. What's the other thing? You know, there's a law in California. It's called the felony murder rule. I mean, you shot at Peter, which is a felony. According to the law, you're probably guilty of manslaughter. Now, I could tell the sheriff and see what they want to do with you. You really are in college, aren't you? Oh. Uh, you almost got it right. I think I will hang around with you for a while. See if you can actually get yourself. Don't you have something better to do?
time you can drive. All right, shotgun.